Hello, good afternoon, this is Dave Lloyd. I just want to have a couple of words about Rosalind Peterson's film, which I've just seen, about geoengineering. And it really startled me some of the things that she came out with, because it's, uh, even though I live in the UK, it seems to be affecting us in exactly the same way. It seems in America there's no consultation with anybody about what they can do in the air. They can spray absolutely anything in the air. And it seems that military or private companies are invested in all this work, they're doing all sorts of different experiments with different substances and in fact uh, if you call it geoengineering which is deflecting the sun back into space and you can, uh, it's ma actually making the earth dimmer but obviously if you make the earth dimmer plants and trees, they can't breathe properly, photosynthesis can't, can't take place and you're going to get less crop production as well so if it was done for any length of time in a certain area there could be dire consequences in the long run but also you got the fact that it's getting into the water table as well and into us now if we don't get enough sun, lack of vitamin D our immune system goes right down and of course if you less vitamin D there's rickets starts to break out I'll have to check that actually but the statistics are in the UK for rickets because this geoengineering although it's only proposed as it is in America nobody says nothing it's actually going on, it's been going on for the last 10 years so it's, it's really interesting, what you were saying was, in America, on the uh, one side of America, I think it was the west coast, there's about 20 different states that have all got their own independent weather modification series going on. So uh, the state next door mightn't even realise what's going on in the state next to them, which might be to produce more snow <coughs> if somebody's going skiing or a company, private company's paid for it, and then the, the state next to it is having a, a massive drought. And they can't, they can't grow stuff for the cattle to eat. It's absolutely amazing. And the other thing that really struck me was uh, that she studied at it so much. And funny enough, I noticed the other day, I was out filming the other day. And I said to Joe, the cameraman, I said, um, Hang on, that, that cloud doesn't have to disperse fast. It's spread out really quickly within a matter of two minutes, where normally it'll take half an hour before it starts to haze. And then I realised Rosalind Peterson has made uh, a whole whole page full of different types of contrails or persistent contrails or chemtrails. Uh, there's a knot or rope shape, there's a burst where it can just go along as a thin shape and then burst into something, there's a spiral, thin two paste trail, we've got mushrooms, black contrails, rid rigid feather and like an aurora vibrant spectrum type. Well, this just this blew me away because uh, you can go out of an eighth and what where, where you're seeing normal uh, chemtrails, you'll see a black chemtrail saying, I wonder what the hell is spraying in the sky there. Or, or you get one plane, it's gone, it's tip to tip with another plane, and you say, he's right behind them, is he doing, because they're both spraying different substances. So there's a million and one things that you can go into. But it's, uh, I just find it really interesting. Obviously, um, I think that's the thing, is... Uh, Although, for some experimentation that might be going on, they're exper experimenting at, at the cost of us, our health. Because in the long run, whatever happens up there, whatever goes up there, has got to come back down again. Now, this is just ordinary, ordinary stuff like aluminium and barium, which is for seeding clouds, making clouds. But what if things get a little bit more sinister? They're certainly not going to tell you or me. They're just going to do it and see what the results are. So they could spray absolutely anything in there. And it's already, it's already been proved in the UK that in the early 50s or 60s they sprayed something down uh, the uh, south southeast, and uh, all sorts of people came down sick. And they admitted it years later that it was just an experiment. So bear all this in mind, they definitely haven't got our best interest at heart. And we need to try and get it stopped, or recognise, find out what they're doing. We turn out it's all for the private and military sectors, so... Anyway, I just thought I'd comment on it. It's a really good film, Rosalind Peterson's film about geoengineering. So if you can, take a look. I'll speak to you again. Bye-bye for now.